Good evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Roberto Duran's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. is approaching the ring now and this ring walk can tell you so much look at the focus on his face talking about it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one Let's move. Teddy I assume many times in your career you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach flat out had it what did you tell him what did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight you know sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height reach advantage you start to think that only one way is the way to go you got to force yourself to work your way in i remind myself and i remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height walk him into traps and he just holds on there good block there by roberto duran work in the body Nice shot from Duran. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Roberto Duran. Back to the body. Good combination to the head. Nice block by Tommy Hearns. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Good block, reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, what a whiff by Roberto Duran. Able to dismiss it. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Roberto Duran's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Now hugging on the inside. Solid right hand land. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He is down on the floor after taking that shot. And there's a lot of time left in the round. One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Straight right, unable to connect. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on. You know, Joe, this is tough. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. There he goes with the right hand again. Across 
with a hook up top. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about this. Tommy Hurt is banged by a right hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. There's a straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Hearns is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Inside, inside, let's get go. Blocks the headshot. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Roberto Duran. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Nice block by Roberto Duran. Tommy Hearns is putting forth a great combination there. Halfway through round number two. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Stay away from those. Come on. Good block by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran's right hand scores well. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Nice, nice. A crushing two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Duran's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Final 10 seconds of round number two. He missed with that headshot. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body. Dead to the head. Dead. So a fresh round is underway. But is it a fresh fighter? Tommy Hearns' corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Roberto Duran. Good block by Tommy Hearns. Uppercut! Uppercut! That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Oh, what an exchange! Tommy Hearns is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Great movement to get away from those punches. Duran's well off the mark that time. He comes with a straight right hand. Roberto Duran's found the punch that'll always excite a crowd, and that's that, that straight hand, that power shot. You can see it coming, and there it is. Well, he must be pretty happy that he's got an opponent that throws all wide, all round punches, because straight beats round. 
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Roberto Duran with a big right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Right by Roberto Duran. Finish with the hook. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Come on, kid. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Roberto Duran. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Good job, buddy. One, one. Listen to me. I need you to keep busy, all right? Start of round number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Roberto Duran's trailing by a round, but in all honesty, Teddy, he's very much in this fight, having scored a knockdown. Having scored a knockdown on the cards, but also mentally knowing he can hurt his opponent. Huge right hand from Duran. How about that left right there? Able to get rid of that one. Roberto Duran's corner is concerned. Their fighter may go down here. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Tommy Hearns is doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. of stone with a rock full of right hand. Let's see some more head movement. And now he's targeting upstairs. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Move. Move. <laughs> He gets off with a combination up top. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Roberto Duran. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Duran's in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not, it's not making a picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. I think the lesson to be learned here is it's a marathon, not a sprint. He has treated this fight like it's a sprint early on here. Yeah, and the tortoise is starting to pass him right by, waving at him, saying, ha. Ah. Come on. Listen, I don't want to see you again for Rose. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, 
It'll be closely contested and hard to score. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And a good solid one-two combo by Tommy Hearns. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Tommy Hearns. Still plenty of time to work. Wow! One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is done. that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights. Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. During your training career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. And that had some fight to it, that right hand by Roberto Duran. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Able to cover up that gut. Tommy Hearns with a big right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Tommy Hearns is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Halfway through round number one. Ooh. Watch the hook. Commits to the straight right. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, 
each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting keep to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. And he's holding. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Burns is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Good jab by Tommy Hearns. Roberto Duran's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And now he's targeting upstairs. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back at Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance but the thing that i want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort it's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people boy sharp two punch combination by roberto duran able to cover up along the belt line blocks that one <laughs> Duran's punch is far off the target. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Now he ties up there. Solid straight right hand. Duran's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Halfway through this round, Duran's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Hearns has had so many impressive knockouts in his career. But what about what he did to Roberto Duran? I mean, that was just brutal. Yeah, Duran, you know, at a little bit of a later point in his life, let's be fair here, and of course at a heavier weight than Duran, really maybe belonged that for an optimal effort. But a beautiful setup. It's not just the power, Hearns. It was the jab to the body that took the eyes down, and then the right hand caught him, and Duran never saw that punch coming. Tommy Hearns has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Hearns is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three punch combo? You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, good exchange there. Blocking a score. I don't want to see you against the ropes. Round number three is underway. Roberto Duran's defense is paying off now. Nice block by Roberto Duran. 
Tommy Hearns is fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody. Wow! He goes up top and gets to him. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Hey, keep your hands up. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Roberto Duran. Way through this round here. Close the distance. Come on, get he got hit, but he sends it right back. Getting him into the place he wants to. That's against the ropes. Block that time. It was intended to the head. Protecting his head well with his guard. No, he missed that right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Roberto Duran's really in a groove right now, landing that straight punch. Well, what he's doing is he's staying outside at the right distance. He's getting his opponent, you know, sort of lean in a little bit, and then, bang, that straight shot is right there. Move your head. There's that overhand right. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Stay away from those... And this right, round deep comes deep to breath. an end. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water. You go. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? So three rounds are in the books here. Roberto Duran's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Punch stats don't always tell the story, but in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off him, just to keep him defensive. Does that hurt him? as the fight goes on. Hooks on the inside. Wow, look at that, trading shots. A big right hand from her. That is, Duran stunned by a big shot. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Roberto Duran has got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. It's all right. Just keep moving. Halfway through round number four. Good work defensively by Tommy Hearns. Plus, he landed that counterpunch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. He has his target, he lands a straight right. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Tommy Hearns. 
Tommy Hearns' Hands right up, hand up. did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. You see him holding on. Turns on that exchange. Good block by Duran. Roberto Duran scoring with that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That was a fine block by Tommy Hearns. Hearns is covered with his blood right now. That cut just opened up something fierce. And you know, you wonder about the psychological damage or potential damage of that. You know, does that affect him where he gets a little down? Does that affect his opponent where maybe his opponent gets a little reckless? And round four comes to an end. His eye is completely shut. He really is at risk of being a TKO loser here. I suppose if he can defend himself properly, the fight will go on. Yeah, well, that's going to be up to the discretion, the judgment of the referee. I mean, this is what the referee is paid for, his judgment in this kind of situation. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Landing a two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Nice strike after catching one by Roberto Duran. Good, solid right hand land. Big, big shot he just scored with. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. No, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Flush hook lands by Roberto Duran. Not able to land the headshot. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Halfway into round number five here. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And now they're opening up. Both right hands land. Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fashion your seatbelt. More turbulence ahead. <laughs> Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Tommy Hearns is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Stay away from the inside. And that does it for this round. In between rounds here, Tommy Hearns' eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. Keep doing what you're doing.
went moving. down earlier, and yet he's still fighting with the same kind of style, the same kind of disposition he was fighting with before the knockdown. If I'm the opponent, maybe that's a sign to me that, hey, maybe I didn't hurt the guy that much. Or maybe it's a sign that this son of a gun is just very predictable. He can't change. And maybe I'm going to have a party tonight because I'm going to keep catching him with the same thing until he takes it away from me. That's a good point. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. You got this one! Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Parries that punch intended for the head. Tommy Hearns is doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Super two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Good defensive skill. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Duran's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Halfway through the seventh round. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roberto Duran. A headshot blocked. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Some 
damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Hook up the jab. Uppercut. Uppercut. Use your feet. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Blocks away that headshot. What? What? Coming towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jam pumping and throw the lead right here. Roberto Durant's been in control of this fight here in these middle rounds. He's built a slight lead on your scorecard as we start round number eight. But, Teddy, we often talk about focus. This is where it comes into play of not just blowing it. No, this is what the old-timers used to say when they used to remind you, and they used to say to me sometimes, you know, there's no three, four, five-round title fights. They all long fights. A lot of guys could be a champ if it was only a few fights. You have to keep it up all night. Up. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Tommy Hurts has been hurt solid. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five. So Tommy Hearns beats the count back up to his feet. Now what do you expect out of him? Oh, well, we're going to find out. The most important thing is what does he expect? out of himself not what we expect out of him is he prepared has he been prepared to behave the right way when this moment came Tommy Hearns blocks that punch Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Fires right back at him. the body shot he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by Roberto Duran Punch. Very good defense by Roberto Duran. Watch that punch. And once again, he returns fire up top. And that's the end of round eight. Tommy Hearns' corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around, where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit, where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. How do you break out of this thing? How do you break out of this mode where you're just thinking defense because you got hurt earlier in the fight? Well, a good corner. First of all, a corner guy has to tell him, hey, look, are you just trying to survive right here? Because if that's what you're going to do, okay, you may survive, or he may just step it up where you don't even have a chance to survive later. But if you want to win this fight, you have to get a hold of yourself, you have to listen to me, and you have to find a way to create offense again. And it's a big shot that may end 
finds him right here. One, that looked like the great two, pitch of great Maddox. Three, His sinker four, ball. Boy, it went down quick. Six, seven, eight, nine. Well, Hearns was able to beat the count there, rises to his feet. But he's in bad shape, Teddy. And you know what? Those long arms that serve him when he's fighting on the offense, they're going to hurt him now because I don't know if he's going to be able to grab a hold of the guy because by the time those long arms reach out, the guy can take a step back or get inside them. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Roberto Duran. He is swinging for the fences trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Look at that. Tommy Hart is down. He may soon be out. This fight could be over. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. This fight is over. Durant's bombs away worked again. Knockout victory for him. Here we are, late in the fight, just coasting along, and then that happens.